Hello everyone and welcome to the start of another weekly vlog. It's Wednesday today, I'm not in a very good mood. Just feel like I'm having the worst hair day and the worst skin day. I've got such bad acne around my chin. I think it's hormonal but yeah, I'm just not. <laughs> I wanted to get to Gleam really early and I've got so much work I want to do but it's 11 o'clock and I still haven't left the house because I'm faffing around doing about 10 different hairstyles on my hair. I need to just wash it, but I don't have time now, but just put it in like a high bun. Gonna have to do. I've got an event later as well, and I really wanna like look presentable for that. I actually can't vlog right now because looking at my face in the screen is making me angry. <laughs> so I'm gonna say goodbye and see you when I get to Gleam. Hi, I'm at Gleam. I changed tops. Just put a black one on, I felt overdressed a little bit. Um, I'm just eating some lunch as well. I popped into M&S and picked up a salmon and potato salad. So I'm just eating this whilst I edit my vlog. I'm in a bit of a better mood now. I've eaten, got some work done. Um, and now I'm walking to an event with Morton Brown. I've never been invited to a Morton Brown event before. So I'm really looking forward to it. People staring at me vlogging in public. So I think we're going to be recreating some of the visuals for their new campaign and I love all the colours in these as well so I'm really excited to create some art for home. Got myself coffee and an apron and here's the new range. Can't wait to smell it. Figure out how to do something really beautiful that's not really been done before and every time it's different and every time it's like a unique piece that's created. I made this! I'm so happy with it. I, I did another one, I can't tell, I think it might be that one there, but I'm so happy with these. I am back at Gleam and in my goodie bag from Morton Brown they gave us some cookies. These are the most beautiful cookies I've ever seen. Zara, I actually had one of these at the event and it was really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're gonna have one too. I'm gonna give Zara the ugliest one. <laughs> what would you say the ugliest one is? That's pretty ugly. Oh, I like that one. I think that one's ugly. Okay. You have that one. <laughs> Don't you dare to film me either. I'm not gonna. I will not be I'm gonna have the second ugliest, which is this one. How do you come up? From where? From uh, when you're walking yes. like this. Then you have to use your abs. <laughs> hey guys, it's Friday today. I am just off to my local cafe to do some work. I've got I filmed a video yesterday, so I need to edit that as a priority today and then yeah, it's going to be a nice day. My family should be coming around a bit later. Um, and then we're going to Mr. Fogg's Botanical, House of Botanicals, which is a new bar that's opened up in Goode Street. And I cannot wait. I can't wait to show you guys because it looks just beautiful in there. So we're going to go there. And then I've also got a house party tonight to go to afterwards. So it's going to be a pretty busy full on day, but a nice Friday. So I'm looking forward to it. So I am wearing this top from New Look. It's really old now. I've had it for ages. Um, and then Topshop Joni jeans, grey with um, rips in. And then I'm probably just going to wear some white um, trainers as well. Perfume of choice today is Jo Malone's Earl Grey and Cucumber. Instead of my normal coffee, I'm having a peppermint tea to drink today because I went on a date last night and I'm feeling a little bit fragile. I only had three drinks. But yeah, peppermint tea, and I am just importing footage to edit. I have moved to another cafe now, um, switch up the environment. I've ordered a, a coffee and some nachos. I'm so excited. I've now got changed, um, and my parents have come around because we're going to go out for food before going to the place we're going to tonight. But I just wanted to really, quick, really quickly show you this that my mum's made me for my birthday. How cool is this? So it's a knife holder, but she's particularly chosen books about murder and death and ghosts, and it's the best thing ever. Look how good this is. Look. <laughs> And then she's written SSDGM on it. You need to go into business. You need to make this into a business and sell it on Etsy, mommy. Hands up any murderinos who would like something like this. I think it's so cool. Look how well it goes in my kitchen. Yay! So 
got a burger for dinner. How nice does this look? We've just got to Mr. Fogg's house of the Botanicals and it's so beautiful here. And the cocktail menu is so nice as well. It's flower themed, so we've got like friendship cocktails and courtship cocktails. And they've all got their own different flowers in, which is really nice. I like the sound of pear blossom, whiskey, pear, ginger, cinnamon, sounds incredible. And also apple blossom sounds great as well. So I might try both. Dad's taking a picture. So nice. This is my drink. Look at my mum's one, it's in a terrarium. You guys have to come here. My sister's one is in a teacup. Oh, it's a nice. I think I've just found my new favourite cocktail in London and I'm so happy about it. I used to have a favourite cocktail um, in a bar called Lounge Lover, but the bar shut down and I was devastated. But this one is so nice. Oh my god, it's like pear drops. Mm. Hello everyone, so sorry I didn't end the vlog last night, I got very drunk and ended up going to my friends, kind of like house gathering, it was really lovely. And now it's Saturday and today's going to be interesting, I'm sure a lot of you are going to enjoy it. Two of my best friends are coming around and they are going to help me declutter my life. We've had this plan for a little while and I'm so excited because they're like ignore that's the dishwasher they are like <laughs> shush they are like so great at decluttering and like getting rid of stuff and they're really ruthless so i need them in my life to help me with my clothes and everything all my items so fingers crossed we make good progress they're currently on their way now and they should be about half an hour i just popped sainsbury's to get some snacks um, I'm going to treat us all to a delivery for lunch, but in the meantime, I just got like loads of crisps and hummus and stuff. Um, but it's also the first time. It's also the first time they're going to see this house, so I'm really looking forward to them seeing it. The girls are here, and they're already full of inspiration and flow. Got Cheap. like, look, they're even wearing matching outfits. Girls, <laughs> the style Sophies. <laughs> so this is a before. I, my drawer broke so it's on the floor for the moment um, and then this we need to sort out uh, as well and I'm hoping that this is all And don't gone. forget behind here I've hidden it's stuff. also lots of hidden things as yeah, well. Don't point that out. So you we just have to be <laughs> real about it and okay. the drawers are really well folded. Yeah Con, Con Marie method that. Con Marie yeah but it, all it means is you can get more stuff in. Yeah that's true. So, and yeah, we'll get it done. Um, I've also got some drawers under my bed full <gasps> oh, of pajamas yeah. and um, trousers and stuff. See, this is not just my life. It's just, it's not good. We're just counting our cocktails. Two, three, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Stop. eleven, twelve, oh my God. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen crop tops. You can keep. Black Three. <laughs> Three. No. No more. And no less. That was so well. Already. Already. Also, if I were you this morning, I would have chosen what I was going to wear very well because we're not going to take the clothes off of your back. <laughs> Are we? Yeah. <laughs> been like Joey from Friends. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, I don't even know which like Well, no, this is weird. This is because it's off. This is off the shoulder as well. Oh. Mm. Wait, and I love off the shoulder. Okay, so yeah, wait. I'm your, obviously like, judging by this the numbers. Is too bubbly. Yeah. No, 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 no. But I love like. I just love. We looked yeah, in mine last night, didn't we? So. I've got a bit of a casual wardrobe. Have you? Yeah. Yeah.
Jeans. Okay, immediately. Yeah, we one need a pick. Uh, not a nice colour. Go on. Seven. Yeah, that one's gross. <laughs> Which one's not a nice colour? Agreed. What do you guys think? Brand new with tags, I see. <laughs> so we're doing very well. Got rid of so much already. And now we've got cheeky Nando's. We've got yeah. some fuel. What's the fun, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. this looks amazing. Yeah. The girls are helping me design some outfits. Look how cool that is. See, you've got amazing pink, you've got some black, and then you've got a really cool jacket. So it's oh my perfect. God. Transitional. Thank you. We're getting there as well, look. We're getting there. I find it really hard to put outfits together, but the girls are really helping, so. And it's making it so much easier. So, we are probably about halfway through Katie's style edit and we're just kind of pulling together a few outfits that maybe she hasn't worn before or she hasn't styled together um because she's got some really cool stuff that we think could go really well great jacket with a great tee amazing skirt anything that we kind of aren't 100 percent sure on we're asking her to try on so what have you got on now I loved this in my haul. Okay. I would like to keep it. So let's see, the back is nice. Yeah. Thank you really Playing devil's advocate here, you've got a bridesmaid's dress that looks very much like that dress. Very similar. So pull the straps back a bit. Because it, yeah, it needs to be. I need to take on it. Do what do we think, guys? Comment down below. <laughs> and <laughs> then once you've decided, then Katie will either keep or go. But I wouldn't want to get rid of this because it is like the greatest day with the best memories. So, yeah, so this one is up for grabs on Depop as well. It's also oh. Vera Wang. <laughs> This is a Vera Wang green dress, oh, tall to neck. Dress. Right guys, top tip for you. If you have a pair of trainers like this and find that you've got scuff marks around the rubber, around the soles, it might just be like a bit of muck or scuffs or whatever. You tried washing them, it doesn't ever work. Top tip, nail polish remover. Works an absolute treat. But even better, one step further, is this stuff. It's called Viacal. They use it, right, to get like lime scale off of taps. You can buy this stuff in like supermarkets. So easy, it's really affordable. It's like three pounds a bottle maybe, but also excellent for getting scuff marks off of trainers. All you need to do, get yourself some of these, bit of this, just dab it on and literally just scrub the trainers, bring them up like brand new, seriously, they look great. If you wanna get the canvas like sparkling clean as well, just get the trainers, pop them in like a um, pillowcase throw them in the wash, wash them normally as you would like your clothes, and they'll literally just come up like brand new. Top tip as well, take the laces out and wash them separately. So we're deciding between this jumper and this jumper, and they're basically exactly the same. What would you guys have gone for? Comment down below. <laughs> and she's not going back, and the decision she's made is? This one. <laughs> So total jumpers, there's 30. 39. 39. 39. This one is so soft. This is fluffy. Oh my God, but it looks like, like a, a sweatshirt. Man. No. Look how fluffy it is though. Oh. You can only wear this in the comfort of your own home. I'm gonna put it on Depot because it's top shot. Oh yeah. yeah. And it is soft. Fantastic color. Oh, that's a lovely color. This is great. Yeah. This is a really, really cool piece. And even just with those trousers, really it looks great. great. That looks really Perfect. Great. Yeah. Yep, you've got like a really cool Whoa. skirt you can wear with that. You've got loads. So there's like a co really cool play suit that you could wear that, the spotty yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It, it's the colour. The colour just washes you out. It doesn't do anything for you. It's so soft though. So Why are we going to hate it? Because it's so grim. <laughs> So how do we feel about this jumper? Firstly, can I just, can we just, can we just, here, there's a big pull. That's intentional. It's not intentional. <laughs> okay, pull the sleeve so you can see your hands and show me how you'd wear it. 
Yeah, I like that one. Keep that one, definitely. That's number two. Yay! See, two. Got another chunky knit coming up. Look at how beautiful this room is coming together with the style edit. <laughs> the edit project. The edit project. These girls, I'm going to leave links down below to their Instagram so you can go and follow. But they've done such an incredible job on my room today. Like, I feel like I can breathe for the first time. We've got some amazing outfits here already put together. So we leave you know what you've got. You've got yeah. some like... So look, you've got some super cool, fun outfits that you can wear. Ready to go. Ready to go. And then you've, you've just got Oh, some... I love this. This next outfit is like one of my new favourites. So you've got like a cool Dracula tee, which before you were wearing as like pyjamas. Yeah. But then if you team them with some disco pants and a bit of leopard print, then it's got so a really cool, cool outfit. And it's daytime, evening, you can do what you want with that. Yeah. And it's all stuff that you already had. Like again, this is a tee that you were saying like, oh, I just wear that. Like, come Lounge around the house, yeah. But it looks super cool with your like cord skirt. Mm -hmm. It's summery, but it's also good for winter. Nice thick tights, nice boots. I'm so excited. I'm, I like, for the first time in ages, I feel really excited to get dressed in the morning. Some of the grey and just like some really really classic outfits. Like everyone needs like a brush yeah. on top and then a leather jacket. And most of these clothes have never even been worn before. So it's gonna look really good. I can't thank you girls enough. <laughs> Enjoy. Changing my life for the better. There we go. We've also got my, my favourite murder print up, which I absolutely love. And for the first time ever we've got an empty space here got some bags and perfumes on show these are all my jumpers now so this is an example of some of the things that i um got rid of skirts i had 17 down to five blue jeans seven down to three 11 plain back t-shirts um to only four 15 black crop tops to four um, so I made some really big cuts, like white tops, 12 down to 3, jackets, 12 to 4, coats, 21 to 7, and even then that just includes like a rain mac and stuff like that. Day dresses, 30 down to 8, 32 down to 8, that's quite, it's quite good, could go, could go in. So the guys have gone now, it's gone 8 o'clock I think, we were hard at it all day, I honestly can't express how much those people mean to me in my life but the room's now looking amazing i need to like clear my bed so i can't show you the like full thing but and also the room's getting quite dark but here's a sneak peek so this these are all my clothes all the clothes i own got space under there now so i can actually see and then sophie's oh joe's left his thing um sophie's put them all into like great outfits all ready for me to pick up and wear um, they have a little rearrange of my fireplace, so it's a bit more personal. We've got some pictures of my family. Got the ivy down here, which I think is just so beautiful. And then this is completely empty, which I think is so cool. So we've kind of done it like a little boutique. So we've got some of my favourite perfumes, my bags, um, my jewellery rack. We put these in the wash today, as you saw, Joe cleaned them and now they look so good got all my jumpers and then i still need to sort out my underwear drawer in here i had a little bit of an incident in that i've hurt my thumb i don't really know what's happened to it originally thought I might have broken it but now we're thinking it might be carpal tunnel but i've never had this before in my life but can you see my thumb is completely like it's numb i can't really bend it it hurt it's really painful but it's also swollen up like double the size of my normal thumb can you see that? <laughs> Look at it, it looks like a sausage. I don't know what I've done. It actually looks like a willy. I'm gonna see how it goes tomorrow, but I might have to go to the doctors because it's so bad. And also I'm losing, I can move it slightly, but I'm losing numbness in all my, um, the rest of my hand as well. So, not good. I'm gonna say good night now. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog and I hope you're as excited for this new minimalistic chapter of my life as I am. Stay tuned for next week's weekly vlog to see kind of more of my new room, stuff like that.